It worked. Serves the oh. full debt.
Hey, wait. You came up the mountain, right? So? What business do you have out here? I don't recognize you. What's my business to you? Oh, nothing, nothing. But if Santiago spots you, you'll be in trouble. Who's Santiago? He's with the Inquisition. You don't want to mess with them. He'd have you recruited to the monastery quick as look at you. What happens in the monastery? First, they shove a big stick in your hand. Then, they make you sweep the courtyards or stand guard like me. Not even a beer to keep you going. I'd do anything for a beer. Anything remotely fun is kept in a wine cellar. And that's always locked. Here, have a swig of this. Beer? You've got beer? Man alive, that's good stuff. That's like water to a dying man, that is. It doesn't sound that bad. Well, if you like the sound of it, go and see Santiago and join up. What are you doing, out here? Watching the road for creatures, and probably providing a free meal for any hungry beasties that come wandering by. Why don't you just run for it? Once you've listened to those noises in the shadows, you'll be glad of a secure place to sleep. It's no fun in there, but it's no fun out here either. Even if I did make it back to Harbour Town, the Inquisition would just bring me right back here again. Not many places to hide on an island. I don't really have a lot of options. What creatures? Well, all manner of things came out of the ground with those ruins. Think of your worst nightmare, then double it. That's them. I don't see any creatures. Oh, they're smart. Smart and vicious. I hear them shuffling around in the shadows, waiting. I just hope those beasts stay in the shadows. You like your violence, don't you? I've dealt with your monsters. You have nothing to fear from the shadows anymore. Really? Those horrible things? You faced them? Yeah. They were... gnomes. Gnomes? Are you sure? They, they sounded a lot bigger. Well, there were a few of them. Listen, don't tell anyone about this. The boys will never let me hear the end of it. It'll be gnomeheads in my bed for weeks. Sure. I won't say a thing. Thanks. You're a pal. Well, who do we have here? I don't recognize you. Looks to me like you're a vagrant. And vagrancy? That's illegal. If you can't give me a good reason why you're here, you will be recruited. I volunteered. I'm already enrolled at the monastery. Is that so? Well, we'll ask Master Pallas about that. 
I'll take you straight to him. Another recruit. The guards brought you here because you transgressed the law. Am I correct? Nope. I volunteered. I see. Then you must have something to show me. I have a letter from Commandant Carlos. Let me see. Belshaw? Hmm, I see. You rendered services in Harbour Town. Interesting. This changes things. We can make use of people like you. For what? That is your decision. The training we offer here would start you as a recruit, setting you on the path of a warrior. Or? Or, if your spiritual side is strong, you could become a novice, and later a mage. Whatever your choice, you must complete the same basic training. What is the basic training? The fundamentals of staff fighting. Once that's completed, the masters will take over and you will learn from them. This is necessary whichever path you choose. What can I expect as a mage? Magic is a demanding discipline. Diligence, patience, practice and sacrifice are all required. However, you would not carry out advanced combat training. There would be no time. But the rewards as a mage are great and would grant you access to all the spells the Masters can teach you. What if I wish to be a warrior of the Order? Warriors learn staff combat, of course, and the basics of magic. You will become a skilled fighter armed with powerful combat spells. I have decided. I will take the path of magic. Then turn to the door on my left and go into the room next door. The novice tailor will give you your robe, and he will explain what happens next. What is your role here? You haven't said. Apart from answering questions from people like you, I am the administrator of the monastery. That keeps me more than busy. Could I help you with that? No. You concentrate on your training, and your tests. Tests? What tests? Every master will test you. That is how you will proceed through the ranks here. You must listen well and study hard. That is what we expect from you. Do you have a test for me? You have already done a great deal for the Order. I do not need to test you. That didn't do it. Yes. Weren't you listening? You need to talk to Taylor. I'm Caleb, the handsome one. Taylor is the fellow in the chamber across the way. Start again. Damn. Better start again. There. Hey. Sorry for staring. I'm always interested in new faces. I'm Taylor. I'm guessing Master Palace sent you here? He said you'd have a robe for me. Wear it with pride. Your bond with magic is not one easily achieved. Do 
you have some kind of map of this place? Oh, uh, yes. Every novice receives a map. Can't have them getting lost. Are you here out of your own free will? You could say that. I used to be with the Don, but never saw eye to eye with the man. After Harbour Town got taken over, I came up here. You enjoy sweeping the floors? Well, I wasn't going to follow the Don into the swamp. Safer, warmer, and more rewarding here. Do you want to see your chamber? Now I'm here, can I leave the monastery? Yes, from time to time. But believe me, you're safer in here. So how do I leave the monastery? Master Pallas opens the gate, but he'll only do that once Master Ignatius considers you worthy. Who is Master Ignatius? Look, I can understand all the questions. I had them too. But like Master Pallas told me, everything in good time. You'll learn about Master Ignatius soon enough. So just relax. Look around. And be safe in the knowledge that nothing's trying to eat you in here. Sure. Show me the way. Follow me. So, we've a new recruit in our midst. Where's your tunic, recruit? I don't have one. I'm training to become a mage. Mm -hmm. Each to their own. But you should know, it takes more than some fancy finger-waving to get by here. Go and get yourself a staff and get back here sharpish. Why do I need a staff? Because everyone learns how to fight here. The staff is a noble weapon, in the right hands as deadly as any blade. Although it pays to have a good blade handy too. And I think it's wise to see just how much training you're going to need. No sense in your dying too quick. Who are you? I'm Master Eric. I know what you're thinking. I seem like a nice guy, a decent chap. The reason I can be, because I know a thousand and one ways to push someone's liver out of their nostrils. Not wise to try that with a mage. For mages, I know a thousand and two ways. Where's your staff? Your observant, I like that. I've done my training, now it's up to you to do yours. Besides, if I need to, I can take a staff off any of these lot without breaking a sweat. Where do I get a staff? Look around the monastery, lad. Use those eyes of yours. I'll be right back, Eric. Don't forget the master part. Believe me, you don't want to know what it took to earn that title. Whatever you say. Ah, you'll soon learn the ropes. And if you don't, I'll soon knock you into shape. This is the training area, where Master Arik whips new recruits into shape. Once you finish basic instruction, Master Vitus will conduct your training further. If you treat him right, Master Arik's a decent sort. Let's move before someone sticks a broom in your hand. Oh, and you're sharing your room with Hemlar. He's rather grumpy, but shouldn't cause you any worry. I'll have to pick this, or find the key. You are the newcomer. I'm new here. This recruit has been murdered. What do you know of this? I heard you're short of new recruits. You'll have even fewer if this is how you greet them. I am not accusing you. Your recent arrival means you have two qualities I need. You could not have committed this crime. And you need to prove yourself here. You can start by discovering who is responsible for this. I don't know what happened here. I don't even know any of the people here. 
Then you shall be objective. Examine cold facts, for instance. This man was stabbed in the back, and there is no sign of magic, which is why there is no reason for me to give personal attention to this case. Why do you want me to investigate this? You think you're not up to the task? How do you know I am? Your manner and appearance. You aren't from this island, which makes your presence illegal. It also means you are a survivor. I'm surrounded by books and bookworms. I need survivors. If you want me to investigate, where should I start? Master Vitus will aid you. I have more important things to consider. You have your task. Find the murderer, novice. This is your room. Right, I better get back to my duties. wasn't it. Did it. What are you doing here? What's with all this sneaking about? Well, novice? Hemlar has been murdered. Yes, news spreads quickly here. Soon the whole monastery will know about it. But of course, everyone claims to have neither seen nor heard a thing. And that makes my search for the killer all the harder. You have been appointed investigator. I wish you success. About Hemlar. When did the murder happen? It appears Hemlar was killed at the time you arrived. Since then, no one has left the monastery. Therefore, we must assume... That the killer is still here. There are those who pointed their finger at you. You'll need to be certain before you point your finger at anyone else. Why was Hemlar murdered? That is a good question. Once you know the answer to why he was killed, you should find it much easier to discover who killed him. Any suggestions where I should start? Perhaps where Hemlar was found. The novice Casper is responsible for the chambers. He also trades with many of the recruits. And he must see a lot of what happens here. Talk to him. Tell him I have assigned him to help you. Where can I find the other masters? I will tell you that when the time comes. First, finish your basic training. Only then will you meet them.
I have come to be tested. Enlightenment is found in many places. Seek trust and wisdom in combat. Right. You mean I should fight? Unraveling the meaning of my words is the first part of your test. There's no point in sneaking if somebody can see you. That didn't do it. Job well done. I don't think we've met. My name's William. Are you a volunteer? Yes, I am. Then we're fighting for the same cause. Your mother, Tilda, has been asking for you. My mother? I hope she's all right. Yes. She's in Harbour Town. Good. That's where she should be. Thanks for letting me know. I take it you volunteered? Yes. There's something here worth fighting for. My parents had a farm on the island until those temples burst out of the ground. Now they have nothing. If it hadn't been for the warriors here, my parents would have lost their lives to those creatures. Instead, they're in Harbour Town. I swore to do anything I could against those creatures. Do you have a staff for me? I don't, but our smith will kick you out. Hey, new, huh? I'm Casper. If you need something around here, I'm your man. For a price, of course. Do you trade with recruits? I do business with anyone who's got gold. I ain't fussy. But no weed and no weapons, because I ain't stupid either. Anything else I can get you. Show me what you've got. I'm on an assignment from the Inquisitor. Really? What's the old man got you doing? I'm supposed to find Hemlar's killer. Ha <laughs> ha! Rather you than me. It's both of us, actually. Master Vitus said you're to help me. What? You're joking, ain't you? Afraid not. Oh, that's all I need. Okay, let's get this thing wrapped up quickly. I don't want to get on the Inquisitor's bad side. What do you know about Hemlar? Ex-con, shifty type, scuttled around. Quiet too. You never knew what he was thinking. Shifty and quiet isn't gonna get us far. What about clues? Have you searched his room? I searched the room and Hemlar's body. Did you find anything? I found some food. Was Hemlar poisoned? No, so I doubt that's of any importance. You might as well keep it. I found a small amount of gold. 
Hemlar always came across as having a fair amount of gold. Maybe he spent it. Or someone took it. And left the rest to cover his tracks. Maybe. You might as well keep what you found. Should be some reward for your work, eh? Hey? I found some Bruegel weed. Not a surprise. He was dealing the stuff. And you didn't think that was something to tell me straight away? Do you know where he got his supply? He certainly didn't grow it himself. He'd never get away with that in here. Must have got it from outside. Don't know how. Hemlar wasn't allowed to leave the monastery. So, he must have had a supplier on the outside. Or who had permission to leave the monastery. I found a knife in Hemlar's room. Not many blades in this place. There's dry blood on it too. Hey, have you just given me the thing that killed him? I think it is the murder weapon. But why leave it there? Have you seen this knife before? Looks like one of Harlock's kitchen knives. Could be that the blood just came from the kitchens. Or am I being naive? Any idea who was supplying Hemlar? Well, don't look at me. I partake, but that's it. A lot of people smoke, not much else to do here. The powers that be must know, turn a blind eye. But whoever was supplying Hemlar must have been someone who could leave the monastery. Who does that leave us with? You need to talk to Master Pallas. He's in charge of the gate. About Hemlar. Hemlar was dealing Bruegel weed. Hmm. What do you think? You're making progress. You've spoken to Casper, I suppose. He's a bright lad. Work with him and report to me once you've found the murderer. I assume you no longer need the corpse for your investigation. I'll take care of it, so that Hemlar may go to his final rest. Hope you rot like the rest of those fanatics. Put your Have you lost your mind? Did it. Oi, what's your game? He is someone who needs the protection of a good weapon. Do you recognize this knife? Let me see it. Ugh, it's got blood on it. Why are you showing me that? Just take a quick look. Yes, I've sharpened that blade. Certainly didn't have blood on it then. It's one of Harlock's kitchen knives. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. What sort of weapons do you have? Injure things, kill things, cause damage to things, that sort of weapon. But nothing's free. But I'll trade if you can't pay with gold. What's a smith doing with wooden staffs? Not much call for anything else. Shame, really, because blades are my speciality. I remember every sword I've ever touched. Doesn't matter if I forged it, repaired it, or just sharpened it. I ain't like that Oscar down at the Don's camp, messing around with jewelry. Good, solid blade, that's what you need. Can you teach me how to be a smith? Long as you don't steal my customers. Go on, then. Pin your ears back and listen up. Can you get me any blanks for smithing? Do you see any round here? There's simply no demand for blades here in the monastery. I could make some, but you'd have to bring me some more. I need a staff. 
I'll check me stock. Got this. Oak. Good, strong wood. Knock someone's teeth through the back of the skull. It'll serve as well as a blade. Well, most blades, if you train with it. And you don't go hitting the wrong people. Let's trade. in baby face. Come to play with the adults, have you? I warn you, our grown-up games get rough. I don't want to talk to you right now. I've got a staff. So you have. But do you know what to do with it? To start, you need to learn some moves from a few of our fighters, Tucker, William, and Cato. When they're satisfied with your progress, come back and see me, and I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Got it, Arik. Master Arik, I will have respect, understand? Can you run that by me again? I'm a patient man, I've had to be. But there is a limit to it, and you are in danger of running up against it. I think that's clear enough, Master. There. That's enough. Are you still looking to test me? Yes. I've just thought of a good test for you. I think I should try you with another kind of stick first. Find yourself a broom and sweep out my chambers. I need the names of everyone allowed to leave the monastery. Do you? And you need these names, why? I'm investigating Hemlar's murder. I see. Murder is a serious business. However, I hope you aren't neglecting your basic training to carry this out. No, I wouldn't neglect my training. Tell me how far you've got and I will see if I can help. All I need are the names. And all the Order needs is dedicated, trained warriors. I make it my personal goal to provide them. And there is no point in investigating if you can't defend yourself. Train, and we shall speak again. How do I get out of the monastery? <laughs> That's exactly what I asked when they forced me in here. But don't worry, someday they'll open the gate. Someday? Master Ignatius tells Pallas who can use the gate, but he's a pawn for the Inquisition like the rest of us. So, get comfortable. Have a look around at your own pace before you're packed off to the ruins. Ignatius? Taylor told me about him. Well, if you apply yourself to your studies, you'll soon find yourself in his presence. You should get some training. Well? What are you doing here? You looking for something? I'm blind, thieving bastard! <laughs>
Careful what you touch. What do you want here? Your chambers are clean. Good. Now maybe you're ready for a stick that doesn't have bristles on the end of it. If you're not, go see Harlan. I'm sure he needs somebody to peel potatoes for him. I'm ready to train. Then get gone and train. You're supposed to train me. You'll do well here if you're stout-hearted. You can get strength training with Tucker, and I'll show you how to fight with a staff. I'm no master, but I know enough to give a good grounding in the basics. When Tucker's satisfied that you're strong enough, come to me to learn about technique. And then, then you have to face Kato. Watch out for Kato. He's the biggest arsehole around. Kato's the best fighter. That's master. Don't let him muck you around. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Look, another recruit, right? Me too. Tucker, recruit of the Inquisition, what a joke. The same people who chain me up now expect me to fight for them. You don't think we should fight? Against who? For what? If they're pulling us in for service, then the shit has really hit the fan. It's not like we've been given a choice. No. All we can do is prepare ourselves. One hour of training could mean the difference between life and death. We're supposed to train. Life of glamour this, isn't it? Right, this is what they taught me. To be good with a staff, you have to work on strength and technique. Build up your arms. Whenever you're hit, you want to hit it hard. And once you've trained, we'll practice fighting. See if either of us are any good. Are there rules in the arena? Pretty basic ones. The fight starts when we get in there. The fight lasts until someone's on the ground. You don't attack anyone on the ground. And it finishes when someone leaves. Let's do some strength work. Good. The stronger you are, the stronger your blows will be. Hitting harder ends a fight quickly. More chance of us both surviving whatever they throw at us. No advantage in longer fights. Just more chance of you losing. When you're strong, you can finish anyone you're fighting. How can I improve my fighting technique? I'm no expert. For me, muscles count the most. There has to be more to it than strength. Like they've trained a recruit up in much else. I'll show you what I know, though. And you can ask William. He's picked up more than I have. I want to be stronger. That's it. I could do with some fight practice. Yeah, I could do with some. And if you lose, we can fight again. We're all on the same side. Better we all are, better for all of us. Then fight me! That was good. You're looking good. I've taught you what I know. You should fight William. He'll teach you more about technique. I've worked on my strength. I think it's time for us to train. Well, you look like you've been doing your strength training with Tucker. So yes, I'm ready. So, we fight. That's the next step. Time to end it! Huh? Thanks for the lesson. I will learn from this and train more. I'm here because Master Arik sent me to train with you. Did he? Yes, that's why I'm here. Go and see Tucker and William. You can't beat them. No point trying me. Go on. Go and train with them. I've finished training with Tucker and William. Then it's time for a lesson from me, babyface. Let's see if you have the makings of a warrior. Let's fight. What's caused this? Should be good. Fighting the Inquisition damns your soul. Show me your goods.
You're better than I thought you'd be. Next time we fight, we'll be in. I'm ready. Then stop talking. It looks like it, doesn't it? Beating Kato is a big thing. You have come on a long way. I'm glad you did it. He needed taking down a peg. He's not the friendliest man I've met. Carefully doesn't bear a grudge. You think he's the sort? Kato's the sort who always wants revenge, but he won't tangle with you again. He'll leave that to someone stronger. Arik is my bet. What will Master Arik do? The easiest thing would be not to allow you to complete your basic training. But Kato is Arik's friend, so he might even challenge you himself. In which case, I'll have to beat him. Arik's not an easy target. He's affable enough on the face of it, but he's able to take care of himself. Looks like your training's working. Looks like it. So have I passed? You've learned a few things. Is there anyone else for me to face? Or is this over? You're a combat happy bastard, aren't you? Go and see Arik. He'll sort you out. I'm a bastard. What? You want me to kiss you and tell you you're a good fighter? You're a bastard. What did you do to Kato? Fought him. You said to train. I said to train. I've never seen him look so battered. But a few victories against a few trainees won't make you a proper fighter. No? No. The time has come for you to face me. If you feel like getting some more training, now would be the time. Unless you want to make it easy for me to pull your liver through your nostrils. I'll go and train more. I think that would be very wise. I've advanced my training. Good. Training is vital. I have here a list. This list names all those who has permission to leave the monastery recently. <clears throat> that will be a great help. Good. Then continue your investigation. 